Greetings everyone, the good tonight here today to review the Ferro Concepts Dangler. What is the Dangler? Well, it's pretty much a Velcro strip with a little fanny pack sort of attached. So, let's get a look. So it's gonna sit pretty low, so we're gonna have a very awkward camera angle, but a very appropriate patch. So as you can see, it fits on the front of your plate carrier and it attaches via Velcro. So it attaches right in here, got Velcro on both sides, and fits nicely at the bottom of your plate carrier. So, without getting into the way of what extra magazines and stuff would get in the way of when you're attempting to vault over and climb things, it sits quite comfortably right in front of you. And it doesn't really swing around or fly too much, it has a little bit of a flip, but it all comes down to what you put in it. So right now this one's set up pretty light, but as you can see, on the front there's a good patch of Velcro available. So you can put any patches on there you might need. And from the left side, a little squishy pull tab. Slide that over and you have access to everything inside where I have a goblin at the moment. That aside, if you get a good look-see here, let's see if I can get a good camera feed. There we go, whoa! Yeah, so on the immediate front end, there is some more soft Velcro. So that if you Velcro anything like say some Surefire earplugs, they can be velcroed to the immediate front side for organization purposes. Aside from that, there are four elastic things. Actually, let me see if I can turn this inside out for the most part, yeah. So as you can see, there are four elastic bands that enable you to put things through. I've got a little eh, recon flashlight in here with four different light colors. So for signaling and everything, and you can basically elastic band anything through here that you need. And that consti constitutes the back end. And outside of that, that's really all there is to it. So this is actually a unique built little piece of te technology from Canada. So yes, our more uh, maple syrup inclined friends have made some pretty awesome things. And on the back end, there's not a whole lot. There's actually nothing. So. There you have it. So, basically, adding a easily accessible little fanny pack pouch without the need of a fanny pack. And since it doesn't attach to any belt or something when you crouch down or anything, it just sort of dangles forward. Hence the name of the dangler. And you have access to it at all, whoa, all times. So, a quick, if you really want a quick, easy access way to your goblin without wasting any additional molly pouches, or molly pouches, molly positions, molly real estate, uh, yeah, you have a little dangler option. You can throw anything in there. You can throw an extra tourniquet. You can throw some uh, bandages. Anything and everything. A small, uh, a small toolkit if you do some sort of bomb diffusing or something crazy. Hello. I'll be honest, I haven't diffused a bomb, at least not one that didn't have like a wick that you just cut free from fire, so yay! Fireworks. All that aside, I think I think it really does need a solid patch to bring out the whole dangler experience, so without a dicks out for Harambe patch. Who knows? But it's a fantastic little addition. Now you might be wondering why the colors don't match. Coyote tan, coyote brown. Different words, different uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different colors, basically, so. Sandstone and, I don't know, desert, dirt, not really desert, I don't know. Woodland, what? All-purpose brown. There we go, Marine Corps brown. Hey, Marine Corps brown, so. Don't know if you can get away with this in uniform, but eh. Whatever, I say go for it. Awesome. You can access extra things. You could probably put eat multi-tools and whatever you really want on the band, so. It's up to you to get creative out there, but it exists. And I think it was like 40 or $50 or something on their website. But, you know, fantastic sewing job, by the way. Really well made. Uh, my buddy uh, Riker is actually the guy who introduced me to it. And I was quite interested since I first saw it. And yeah, fantastic little piece. And if you're playing Airsoft, let's go out of the real world for a second. Let's go into Airsoft, which you can do legally and generally come back from without all sorts of fun war stuff. It, obviously the goblin is the first thing I'd put in there, but it also, if you're wearing, let's say, silkies because you're, you're a marine veteran and silkies are the greatest thing ever. Now, if you get shot in your 
Harambe flag, it's somewhat protected, although it's probably going to hang a bit low. Uh, genetics, but yeah, you have at least, I guess, bladder protection for the most. And if you wear your blade carrier exceptionally low, or you crouch a lot, eh, you have dick protection for Harambe. Praise be. That's all I got for you guys. It's an interesting little piece. I'll put a link to the description in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing one for yourself. They do come in different colors, and they are absolutely fantastic. So, cheers everyone. See you in the next video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Cheers.